How's it going guys, Colin here from Trail Throws Off-Road. And in today's video, we'll be installing the Rock Jock Anti-Rock Sway Bar System for our JK. Now we wanna go over a couple reasons why we're deciding to upgrade to this before we start the install. And the first reason being is because the stock Sway Bar System has given us nothing but problems in our JK for the past like two years now. So I'd say about a year ago, our electronic Sway Bar System started malfunctioning. So we just decided to scrap that and it's really expensive to buy a new electronic system. So we decided to go with the Evo manufacturing uh, hand system where all you do is twist a dial and it's supposed to lock them and unlock them. But the problem was that it wasn't doing that. And we were really wondering why that was happening because that was supposed to fix the problem that we were having, but it never did. So something with the gears in the stock system was getting messed up and it was getting jammed up or something and it just wasn't working properly. So instead of deciding to fix the stock one, we decided to just upgrade right away to the anti-rock system from Rock Jock. And this system is gonna give us more performance benefits while we're out there wheeling because it's gonna make it so both tires contacting the ground have equal pressure. And yeah, we're excited to get this on the rig, see how it looks, cause it's gonna look pretty cool and also to see how it performs out on the rocks. So we didn't get it for the rear because we haven't had problems for the rear, just for the front. So all we're gonna be doing today is installing the front ones. And we did decide to go with the aluminum anti-rock kit instead of the steel kit, so it's not going to rust or anything. It's also a lot lighter, and in our opinion, it looks a lot cooler. However, it is $100 more, but we're never going to have to replace these um, because they're never going to corrode or anything like that. And if you're interested in picking up this kit, we're definitely going to link it in the description below. Uh, and you could head over to Rock Jock's website and pick it up for yourself. It shipped really fast for us. We didn't have any problems. The packaging was all nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and start this install. It should be pretty easy. We're gonna show you guys the step-by-step -step of what we're gonna do. And for instructions, Rock Jock does include this QR code that you scan and it brings you to their instructions for the install. Uh, so it should be pretty easy uh, and let's get started. So we're gonna start by removing the old stock sway bar and we already have the end links removed. Uh, we took those out over the weekend. So as far as it looks, it's only four bolts and that should be pretty easy to undo. So we're gonna do that right now. So it's just those four bolts to remove the stock sway bar on. It's really, really easy to do. So the next step is with these anti-rock bushings. We need to put them in the new brackets with a mallet. So now that we have the bushings installed in the brackets, we gotta put these brackets in the same spot that the stock brackets were in, and we're also gonna reuse the uh, stock hardware to do so. We have the bar and the brackets attached on the Jeep and it took us probably five minutes to do, super easy. So for the next step, we're going to need the anti-rock arms and we're going to loosely fit these on here uh, right now. Next step is to assemble the end links that Rock Jock provides, and that should be pretty easy. Just screw the bolts and the tie rod ends onto each end link, and then you should be done assembling the new end links.
All right guys, so we finished installing the anti-rock sway bars and it was probably an hour install max. It was super easy and super quick for us. They look really, really good. The silver is beautiful and we can't wait to get it out on the trail and test them and see how they perform and see what kind of differences uh, there are between an aftermarket sway bar like this and the stock sway bar system. We do have a couple more adjustments that we're gonna go ahead and do off camera. We're just gonna play around with the uh, end links and just see if we can really get them dialed in. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed this quick little short install. Again, if you're interested in this product, we're definitely gonna link it below uh, so you can pick it up for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. See you guys on the next one.